hello guys this is code and code and this is going to be the second problem basically practice problem three that we are going to solve in this graph theory series and in this problem uh, in this pro uh, lecture we are going to solve this problem taken from spodge is it a tree so basically the question is given as follows you are given a graph and you have to tell whether the given graph is tree or not so you are given an un unweighted undirected graph and you have to tell whether the given graph is a tree topology that is it is a tree or not so there are n that is 10 to the power 4 there are 10 to the power 4 number of nodes and there are 2 into 10 to the power 4 number of edges so there are 10,000 nodes and uh, around uh, 20,000 edges you have to tell whether the given graph is a tree or not so in this example you can see this is n and m and a number of nodes and mr number of edges so there are three nodes and two edges one is connected to two and two is connected to three since one is connected to two and two is connected to three it forms a tree and hence we have printed yes if the given graph is tree we have to print yes otherwise we have to print no so see how we can check whether the given graph is a tree or not the one uh, uh, one of the property of tree is that it is connected connected means from every node you can reach every other node if in the given graph there are two connected components and we know if there are two connected components that means you there is no path from nodes of connected component 1 to reach to nodes of connected component 2 suppose this was connected component 1 and this was connected component 2 so there is no way you can reach from this node to this node and hence uh, the graph would not be connected so important thing uh, for a graph to be tree is that it must be connected that is the total number of connected components must be one that is there must be a path from each node to every other node and if there are more than one connected component then this condition doesn't hold and hence a graph to be tree there should be exactly one connected component this is the first property and second is that a tree doesn't contain any cycle uh, if I sub consider this as a separate graph and this as uh, another graph then this contains a, a cycle and hence it cannot be a tree while this doesn't contain any cycle so it can be a tree because a connected component is single in this graph so it can be a tree there are two properties and this graph holds both two, two properties first it is connected second there is no cycle in it if the graph has one connected component and it has no cycle then if there are n nodes then the total number of edges would be n minus 1 so as you can see there are four nodes and hence there are three edges only it is simple to know and you can prove it also if there are two nodes you all you need is one line to connect both of them it's like you have two points and you have to connect them by line so all it requires is to draw a single line which connects both of those points and now the remaining n uh, to connect the remaining n minus two points all you have to do add uh, one by one another line which connects the remaining nodes to the currently connected component so if there are n nodes all you need are n minus one edges <coughs> sorry so the cycle condition we can check if uh, by only looking at the number of edges if there is a single connected component and there are n minus 1 edges in with n nodes then there are no cycle in it so all we have to, to check are two conditions first it must be a single connected component second the total number of edges must be n minus 1 for given n nodes so this is how we are gonna solve this problem so first mm, this should be good yes so let's create an adjacency list that is vector of int of size 10,000 and then an integer added to keep track of the element which have been visited you all know what is this and then we need n m a and b so we read n and m and then we would read m edges so 
a and b because edges are given in the form of pairs so a is connected to b and hence in the adjacency list of a we would insert b and in the adjacency list of b we would insert a now a graph is ready now we have to count the total number of connected component that is why we have taken a variable cc count that is connected component count and you know how we do this we run a loop from 1 to n and if the ith node is not visited if the ith node is not visited hence it would be 0 because we define the very uh, sorry the array globally hence all the variables would be initialized with 0 integer variables so this whole array would be initialized with 0 indicating the ith node has not been visited if the ith node is not visited we would make a dfs call to ith node and then increment the cc count and all of this i have explained how to count the connected component if you do not know just check out the video which explain how to count connected component in a given graph so it would be a tree if connected count is equals to 1 and total number of edges is equals to n minus 1 so if there are n minus 1 edges and the total number of connected count uh, connected components are 1 then it is a tree so we would print yes otherwise we would print no and then finally return 0 so this is how we solve this problem Let, let's compile and see oh yes there is an error oh sorry we haven't defined the dfs function so what dfs and it would take a single parameter that is node whenever we reach any node we make it visit we mark it visited and in in the adjacency list of this node if sorry if this child is not visited then we will make a dfs call to this child that's all let's compile it again and the compilation is successful let's run this sample test case the answer is yes let's just submit it and see what we get whether we get an ac or not so change it to c++ compiler c++ 14 gcc yes and let's submit it hmm this is compiling and i'm sure it would be an ac i hope so yes and we get an exit so i'll be putting the link of this problem in the description you can try it yourself and try to submit it yourself by uh just try to code it yourself and submit it if you get an ac yep that's a good thing otherwise you learn some some mistakes of yourself and you'll improve so thank you guys for watching i've i think you have learned something from it so keep learning and keep coding thank you see you in the next video thank you